Hey guys, today we're back with a quick review from Carved, the Traveler wood case for the iPhone 6. There really isn't much to this case, it's a simple rubber style case, but the selling point is this real wood backing. I have the lunar engraved design here, but they have several designs on the website, and you can even have a custom engraved design on the wood of your choice from real wood. Let's check it out. On the inside of the case are printed signatures of members of the Carve team over in Indiana. The rubber bumper is flexible all around which allows for a simple setup and removal of the iPhone but firm enough that the iPhone won't just slip out. Popping it in now, I go top to bottom and just squeeze the corners right in. The bumper offers a slightly raised lip for the front of the iPhone. All power and volume buttons are covered with a thinner layer of rubber which doesn't require you to push too much harder. There's an open cutout for the volume mute rocker, enough space to easily turn it on and off. A large cutout in the back for your camera and flash with no blockage of either. The whole case is thick enough to also prevent the camera lens from scratching on any surfaces. There's some pretty tight cutouts on the bottom for the headphone and lightning port and I couldn't hear a difference in the audio from the speakers. The bumper is molded with a matte soft black on the back and a glossy black on the front. But here's what the case is all about, the real wood. Well, not this one. This one. This is the lunar grave design on a dark wood finish. It looks and feels like a real plank of wood. The main function of this case is to look unique. It's purely for aesthetics, but it does a great job at that. Close up and from afar, you can clearly see the wood finish and the printed design. It makes for a great conversation starter. The cuts are clean and the installation of the wood is durable. Secondary to that, the Traveler series offers a slight improvement in protection and grip. There's a studded texture along the bumper to provide additional grip when holding the iPhone and it actually feels pretty good in the hand. For a designer case, I find they sometimes forget that the quality of the case is just as important as the design on it. The Carve does a good job of keeping everything intact. They use a unique spray finish on their woods, which they say ensures the wood stays looking good for years. So let's do some accelerated scratch test to see how it holds up. The print hasn't scratched off and the wood has a few visible scratches, but hasn't chipped. Another one in the books for durability. Lastly, I want to see how that front lip holds up. Let's do a quick test. And the obvious answer, it'll keep your screen scratch free from flat surfaces. The port cutouts on the bottom are a little tight, enough for the included Apple accessories, but it's almost an exact fit, which means your external cables and headphones may not fit. My only other issue is the cheap looking two-tone rubber. This is just my personal taste, but I think a single matte black tone could go a long way. That's it. That's the carved Traveler wood case for the iPhone 6. It offers a slight improvement over their slimline case with the additional rubber around the case, but you shouldn't be looking for protection when buying these cases. The case is all about the aesthetics and the real wood is the real deal. But that's it. If you like my review, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and to subscribe for future updates because there will be more. I rest my case. Yes, I'm wearing a really tight t-shirt. I'm sweating. It's really hot in here.